So some of you may have noticed that when we did a show IP route command on VRF red, we noticed that we're only seeing IP routes on BBID 3998. If you will recall, when we talked about IP shortcuts, we indicated that without equal cost multipath, IP routing occurs over the primary BBID. Um, it's pretty much the same thing with an L3 VSN. So given the fact that we have two alternate paths, we most definitely want to leverage on that. And what we'll do is uh, we will set up equal cost multipathing for IP VPN red. So at this point, let's go into uh, the config prompt. And we will go into router VRF red. And at this point, it's a very simple command of IP ECMP, very similar to what we did with IP shortcuts. At that point, we now have IP equal cost multipathing available for the IP VPN environment. So now let's go in and rerun the IP uh, show route command, and we can now see that we see 3998 and 3999 as possible IP forwarding paths across the environment. Uh, in order to complete the exercise, however, we need to go over to the other node because if we do the same thing, show IP route, VRF red, we see that here we only see our primary BBID as well. So we want to go into the configuration prompt here and we want to go into router VRF red and we simply want to set up IP ECMP on this side as well. Now, when we do our show IP route command for VRF red once again, we will see that we see both BVIDs. And this is basically how we enable equal cost multipathing within an L3 VSN environment utilizing both equal cost paths and both backbone VLANs. Fairly easy to set up.